so <laughs> weird. Carry on. It's not weird for us because that's why. Okay, Adam, introduce yourself. I. I <laughs> wait. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay. Hold, I, on, hold on, hold on. I need like a five second warning because I'm not ready. I'm Adam Ariola. <laughs> Where am I like? <laughs> Hi, I'm Abby Bach. Uh, and this is us telling our story of how we met and all that stuff. And why we're gonna get married. Yep. Okay. Alright. I and I went to Central College together. It's in Pella, Iowa. Super small, conservative, tiny, tiny little town. Emphasis on tiny. Somehow, we ended up in the same public speaking class. I go into this public speaking class. And I'm like, oh, sh I know that guy. I've seen him around. He's played volleyball. I've seen him play volleyball. Absolutely a baseball player. Ooh, he's cute. He's got that white smile, that dark hair. You know, you know. <laughs> I said, like, he's cute. I come into the class and I'm like, he's in here. Okay. Cool, cool. Whatever. I'll play cool. But, you know. She yeah. didn't play cool. No, at I all. did. She I sat did. Right I did. next to me. Well, I sat behind him because I was like, mm. next to me. More. Okay, so I sat next to her and it was super fun and it was it was sort of flirty, but it wasn't flirty because like I had a girlfriend kinda and she I don't know what her deal was, but. But like I was trying to be like professional and in the class and then we got assigned to be each other's partners to like introduce each other to the class so we had to set up like a homework assignment interview like a meeting like a meeting that we shocking noticed. I had to initiate because quite the student we have okay so we, <laughs> we got assigned to be each I'm other's sorry. partners by pure chance which was like pretty crazy like there were like 30 people in the class <laughs> It was probably alphabetical. It was Bach, probably alphabetical. Ariola, Bach, Ariola. Yeah, it was definitely alphabetical. Hold on, let me fix my hair. I <sighs> okay, like where were we? I'm sorry, Mom. Hey, everybody. <gasps> you didn't do it! And why is the nuts? Why would you do that? Oh my god! Adam told me he was gonna drink it! He told me he drank that seven years ago! Uh, okay, so we met up at the Central Library. I was on time, she was about 10 to 15 minutes late, which I should have known was a... <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Our um, public speaking professor was like, Abby, you're gonna be with this guy, Adam Ariola. He's out of town right now, he's sick. Nope, I was at a baseball game. Shut up. I was like, cool, cool. And then I literally forgot that we set up a meeting at the library. So he had been there and I was sleeping. I show up, Adam has um, prepared a notebook. Prepared questions. Per, like prepared Per questions. the assignment. She winged it. Clearly I winged was it. asleep. Not even close to being prepared. So jumping ahead, <laughs> I, I basically gathered that she loved music she loved being a free spirit, <clears throat> and then I pretty much just called her hippie in our speech. Fair. And, like, that's how it went. And Hold like, on. I, again, like, I hate to bring this up, but I did get an A on that I assignment. I did, too. I did, too. Nux. What's up, boo? Yeah, we got it. But... Literally, let's, let's <laughs> message him. We, I got an A in that class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, hold up. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> I, I just realized you smoothly got my number after the interview because her, again, her notes were horrendous. He graduated that year. I still had two years to go to graduate. So he went off and he started at a new college called Bradley. It had been three years from when we graduated to when I met up with him. My sisters and I and my best friend Erica Freeberg we went out to a play. I think it was like Dirty Dancing or something. Probably not, but who knows. Anyways, we went to Fuzzy Taco before. We sit down and I was like, wow, dude. I was sitting with my BFF Erica. And I was like, hey, whoa, dude. Like, I know that guy. So when I see the guy that I thought was you and was dating a blonde girl, I was like, oh, 
like I went to school with that guy. Like I told my friend, I was like, whoa, dude, like that's so weird. I went to school with this guy. She's like, what? Whatever. Went, got my food, came back. My iPhone went off and I, it said, Abby, you have been friends with Adam Ariola for three years, three years today. And I was like, Erica, that's the guy. That's the guy I'm talking about. Like Adam Ariola, three years ago today, that's him. That's the guy I'm talking about. That's crazy. Like that, I spit everywhere. Okay, so then the next day, I was like scrolling through Instagram because that's how I wake up in the morning. Right. I was going through and I saw a picture of Abby from that day, which, what are the odds? And she looked like real nice in that picture. And I try to avoid like just liking random pictures from like not my immediate friends or immediate family and stuff like that. But she looked like real good. So then I like, I hit the like button, which was out of my character, but I hit it for some reason and I push it. I noticed that I had a like from Adam Ariola and I was like, Erica, look, Adam Ariola, he's never liked any of my things. He literally liked that because he saw us last night. She's like, yeah, dude, you're right. That's crazy. Wow, that's weird. It's so weird. So I messaged him and I was like, dude, I saw you last night at Fuzzy Taco. Like, that's crazy. And he was like, is that a strip club? Hilarious. Fuzzy taco? Still one of the funniest things we've ever said, like moment of. First of all. Hilarious. First of all. It's not a strip club, it's a restaurant. No. And we do have one in Colorado Springs. It's a taco place. I said, what, bitch? No. She didn't say that. She said, ha, 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 ha LOL, LOL. No, it's that taco place that we were both at. In Des Moines, day. Iowa. Yeah, and I was like, well, I'm not in Des Moines, Iowa now, but I'm going to be there next week thinking, Way ahead of this, like, I knew she was about to ask me out. So I was not going to be in at Des Moines, actually. But I was like, yeah, but I'll be there next week. And she's like, oh, no kidding. We no. should meet up. And I was like, brilliant. <laughs> right into my hands. No! So all of that is literally no. how it's It was my nephew's birthday. So I was at his birthday party. And I kept texting Adam, like, dude, like, sorry. Couldn't get I'll into be late. the... Couldn't get into the playhouse, have to wait an hour. Sorry, bud, like it's gonna take a little bit longer. You didn't call me bud. Well no, but like my it was my <laughs> she nephew's didn't call me bud. It was my nephew's like second birthday. <laughs> so you were like, sweet, I'm at Gray's Lake. And then I didn't tell my family because you lived in a different state. Damn. And I lived in a different state and I didn't want my family to know yet because it would be the first time we're meeting. So Damn. I was like, hey, everyone's probably gonna be pretty weird if I'm just like I don't know, we're dating somebody out of state. Like probably yeah. pretty weird. So I literally didn't tell anybody. So I didn't have any makeup, any hair done. I get in my car, I do my makeup real quick. Slams my, a can of tuna. My sisters are walking by like, bitch, what <laughs> are you doing? Anymore. You're at your two-year-old nephew's birthday party in the parking lot of a South Des Moines Park ghetto. And I was <laughs> like, whoa, 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 gotta get Case done up, now. gotta get done up. And then um, we had birthday cake, but nothing really else. I was real hungry. Dude, if you don't get her food within five minutes of her becoming hungry, like the next hour to two hours is a nightmare. So in hindsight, this really does speak to your commitment Absolutely. to our relationship. <laughs> because if this had happened, like let's say today, I would be a dead man. So I leave the birthday party and I had bags of tuna in my car in case of emergency because uh, I was a hangry bitch. On the way, I was eating like smoky hickory tuna. Tuna. It's probably the way, worst thing to eat before. I'm like, like I'm about to pass out if I don't eat this. I'm being a hangry bitch, so I'm eating it. My car smells like tuna, real bad. So I pull up to Gray's Lake, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if we're taking my car. Are we taking my car to this pizza place? If we are, he's gonna think I got a stinky ass. <laughs> so gotta throw this away. I pull the out of my center console and I'm walking because I know it's Grace Lake. I know he probably can see me. So I'm like, okay, Abby, shoulders back, booty out, tummy in, walk like you know what you're doing. I trip <laughs> immediately. Immediately I trip as soon as I step out of the curb. I got a bag of tuna in my hand. A bag of tuna? What kind of tuna are you eating? Because it's seasoned. <laughs> seasoned tuna. Anyways, so we had been talking for probably close to two weeks before we met up. We knew each other because we had a class and we kind of like saw each other kind of throughout been there. our last central. My teeth are white. However, my dark skin. Yes. However, <laughs> the first date, 
<clears throat> I was at my nephew's birthday party. That's an hour and a half ago. We need napkins. How was that my fault? We got it on camp. We got it on hella cameras. That it was not my fault. Thank you. I was at my nephew's birthday party. And we went on our date. He told me, I said, hey, my favorite pizza is Canadian bacon pineapple. Love it. It's my f God, I love it. He said, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, I'm down to try it. Now you said CB Pine, and I didn't know what yep. that meant, but I CB said, yeah, pine. that sounds good. CB Pine, everybody knows that. He said, that sounds good. I said, you know CB Pine, you know my life. We go out to eat. He doesn't know CB Pine. I order, like, he orders, what, pepperoni? Because that's what normal human beings order. He orders a pepperoni, order. just in case. I order Canadian bacon case. pineapple. He's all, mm, yeah, love it. So good. I was like, F yeah, this man's my f soulmate. He's my boo. He likes CB Pine. Never met a man that liked it as much as me. Yeah, he's Hell yeah. Never met another human that liked Hell it. Hell yeah. yeah. So he's like, oh. yeah, man, love it. Find out about a year later, he's like, mm, I hate it. I hate CB Pie. Yeah. I told you that because I liked you. I was like, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't say that because yeah. I liked you. I said it because you are fine as hell. Well, that's worse. Yeah. That's worse. A couple months later, we decided like after going strong for a little while, and we'd like talked about what is the purpose of life. Like, why are we even here? It's to be happy. It's to be. It's to have fun. It's be to love each other. Be where we want to be. Be where we want to be. I was in Illinois, she was in Iowa, neither one of us was like super happy. We were traveling like hours at a time to be together, which is crazy, worth it, but why <laughs> But why would we do that when we can just move together somewhere? Somewhere awesome. Yeah, so we were in Kelso, uh, I think it's Missouri. Missouri. Yeah, Kelso, Missouri at a softball tournament because she came out to support me, shout out boo. And uh, we were just like laying under a tree one day and we were like, why are we even here? Why are we doing this? Let's, let's pick somewhere great. And then we, I don't know if we like just Googled the best places to be in the United States. We literally picked the date. It, that was probably yeah, like we early July. We were like end of August. We are going to pick a location and we are going to move. And so like we left and we both did a lot of research. We looked into Oregon. We looked into Florida. We looked into Tahoe. We looked into different places in Colorado. And then just like ultimately we came to Colorado Springs because it was beautiful and cheaper than beautiful, like other cheap. places. Yeah, like Had a lot of fun, a lot of engineering, activities. Which oh, engineering yeah. was what we were banking on because I was a social worker and I was like, mm, not going to get paid shit literally <laughs> anywhere I go, so let's go with you. But we moved into the north. <laughs> Beautiful. We went hiking, we went snowboarding, we went exploring. It was amazing. We found jobs. It was perfect. Yeah. He proposed to me after a year on the top of a mountain. Can I tell a story about how I proposed? Because that's hilarious too. Yeah. So I proposed when we went on a hike it's to Mount Muskoka. It was our one year anniversary and I figured it's way easier to just propose on the one year anniversary. So it's one date that I have to remember. So I proposed to Abby by going on a hike. My buddy Robbie Hoff. Uh, who's also shout a photographer, out. <laughs> shout out. So he said that we should go to Mount Muskoko, and not only that we should go there, but he has a few vantage points that he can get pictures of me proposing to her so we can have like live action engagement photos, which is like a relatively rare thing. We wake up at 7 a.m. and I'm in a rush. Hey, let's get going, like this is our plan, like I really want our anniversary to be special because it was our anniversary. Let's get your, shoe, your shoes on, let's get your clothes on, let's go. And she is not a morning person, and she's even less of a rush me in the morning type Can of I person. Can I chime in? Sure. Okay. I changed my mind. No, no, no. Let me chime so, in real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> morning of our one year anniversary, we're laying on our blow, me, blow air, what's it called? Blow up? What's it called? Mattress? What's the mattress is called? Our the blow up mattress. We were laying on a blow up mattress. <laughs> we we literally wake up. It's our anniversary. We're like, oh, love you, love you. Oh, let's have a good day. Oh. And then all of a sudden he's like, we gotta leave in ten I minutes. Didn't call it. 
Yep. Probably and I was like, like, hey, we need to go. We're what? behind schedule because I have a whole day planned. Yeah, but us. listen, I didn't know. I was like, dude, we're hiking a f mountain. It does not matter if I we had leave. stuff planned before, after, in between. I had it planned out, and you were running late, and you knew you were running late. No, and, I did and not. Again, running I didn't late think is it a thing. So I know you didn't Do know that. Do not start mattered. that or I'll be with you. <laughs> Seriously. I know that you didn't know that we were on a schedule, but we were on a schedule. So I had her bust an ass up this mountain because my buddy showed up like 30 seconds after us, like in the parking lot. Buddy that she recognized if she would have seen him. So like we need to be moving before she sees him and it's like something's up. I didn't know this. But that dude did show up, Robbie, with a fake mustache and a huge sombrero. Hilarious and a very good disguise, it turns out, because she did see him later and didn't recognize him. But still, right on her tail the whole time. So I'm trying to get her to move up this mountain fast, and she is just taking her sweet time taking pictures because it was a beautiful hike. Can I tell you? Because it was a beautiful hike. Can I tell hike. him why? Sure. I was annoyed because he had been rushing me. So I was like, oh, God, my ankle. Faked an oh, ankle sprain. My ankle. Kobe Bryant. I was like, Fake looking like sprint. Adam, you're gonna have to come back, Be a man. Hero. Come out, come on back down, man. I'm not gonna make it up. We're gonna have to eat right now, have this snack, and enjoy this view. Four times. Probably. Robbie Probably. turned the corner because it was very tight corners, and like it's not his fault, but he would turn the corner and I would see him and go, No, she's faking being injured. Go back. He would grab me and be like, mwah, mwah, and I'd be like mad at I him. I would so like, grab her face to like distract her from yeah. the crazy man with but the mustache and the out, sombrero. But... Yeah, just to throw her off the trail that we're literally being followed by a professional photographer. So he was weird and I was <sighs> like, okay, I know something's going on. I better change my attitude. So then I started being like, that's why I started like slowing down. Like, oh, my ankle. Oh, no, it made that's me... not why. No. You wanted to ruin nope. my day. Exactly. Get the ring in my pocket, all this stuff. So we're like sitting on the edge and she's got the dog and I was like going through my bag to get the ring and she's like, Adam, are you peeing? I was like, dude, I'm in my backpack. What are you talking about? I'm getting a snack. Getting a snack. Uh, so then like I go and I put her in the spot that like Robbie had marked off literally with like an X in the rock to make sure that she really? was in the right spot. Yeah. And he was like behind a tree, like sort of around the corner, which was super impressive. And I was like, okay. Like Abby, and then I had this whole pl like speech planned out, and and it was like gonna be super romantic, but then I sort of panicked. And I don't really remember what I said. I literally don't remember. Anything. I know that it was like smooth and as shit, though. No, I do remember that. It was very solid. Robbie came out of the out of the tree that he was in with his fake mustache and sombrero, and then that was pretty wild. And then he did get all those awesome pictures. Yeah. And he sent them to us, and that's what, like, all we post them on Facebook and stuff. And shout out Robbie, like, great photographer and all that. Uh, and that was super cool. So we got the whole moment captured. I uh, have a I kid really... working on my school name, Abigail Beck. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that in the blue place. That is crazy talk. She's fine, but she did just spill all over herself, and I well, know that no, we have footage of that, and that I will be in the bloopers no, shortly after. That was Adam's fault. <laughs> but anyway, so things are good. Uh, we're getting married. We might be showing this at our wedding. We're still not exactly sure, no. so we'll let you know. <laughs> no. Uh, probably because this has definitely been more embarrassing for her than it's been for me. My family will love it. Kiss me, LG. <laughs> Can we cut this and then like she, get she. to where she eventually lets me? Kiss me. Someone. Hey.